Ganesha festival, wishing you all a very happy Ganesha festival. And Ganesha is the son of the Hindu god Lord Shiva and uh, Parvati Devi. And it has been widely accepted around the length and breadth of the country and around the world. 1.3 billion people. And it is in mass. Devotion to Ganesha is widely diffused and extends to Jains and Buddhists and also in Nepal, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines and Bangladesh and countries with large ethnic Indian population including Fiji, Guyana, Mauritius and Trinidad and Tobacco. One greatest philosophy, greatest teaching from this God worshipped in the Hindu culture is just this small thing what this Lord Ganesha has done. What did Lord Ganesha do? Nothing. When he was asked to challenge his brother Subramanian to go around the world. It seems Subramanian took the vehicle and travelled around the world in 80 days. But this Lord Ganesha just went around his father and mother three times and he has said he's seen the whole world. That means the father and mother includes everything. If you can just sit with your creator, your father and mother. Just their love and you become conscious and observant. That is sufficient for the, all your studies in the whole world. And people thought just going around three day, times and touching the feet, they'll get the blessing. No, 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 no. That Lord Ganesha has proved Time in and time out that the three rounds what he did was the rainwater harvesting, the solar and the wind energy, which most of the traditions forgot to talk about that. That was the three. When you are sitting with your father and mother and if the father and mother, if they are real father and mother, they are in love with the nature. Like Jiddu Krishnamurti said, when you lose the deep intimate relationship with the nature, when you lose this, then you are not a real father and mother. The real father and mother's deep intimate relationship with nature. And that was the Lord Shiva. That was Parvati by Parvati Devi. Yes. And that tradition has stabilized every culture, every village to make sure if you have these three, the Trimurti, they call it non-stop, they talk about Shiva's Trimurti. And this is the Trimurti. Rainwater and saving it. Sun goddess worship and then convert in the solar wind energy. Utilize these three and you are the greatest. All your diseases vanishes with only these three. They call it the Satyaguna, the Rajasaguna and the Tamasaguna. You go through these three stages and you know what is Tamasa, the dirty. You know Rajasa, the high technology, the fried food, the high tech dresses not following your tradition. You, you spit on your tradition. Satvakona, you melt with your father and mother. You go three rounds. And then <coughs> when you go around the father and mother three rounds, you understand what is Tamasaguna. What is Rajasaguna? You come back to Satvakona. In that Satvakona, you find the family. And the family connects you to the greatest connecting link in the whole world, the joint family. And the joint family to hold on to so many branches. It has got the strongest root called the family tree. That three, the family, the joint family and the family tree. 
the rain water harvesting solar and the wind energy tamasaguna rajasaguna come back to satsaguna if you have these three and many countries make sure heaven and earth man in the center that is the greatest think of greatest scripture greatest practical thing he has shown just you don't have to make books of the books i will just go around my father and mother father and mother yin and the yang father yin and mother yeah in positive and negative he has got to create electricity and in that electricity the consciousness in that electricity the observation when ganesha got it he understood the whole world understood that they are celebrating but if the whole world understood especially in india they understood and they got gone through this ganesha festival time they take a place that they will go through the three stages of satya guna rajas guna and tamas guna and they are conscious about these three guna to come back to the satya guna to connect them to the nature when you lose the deep intimate relationship with the nature then you go to tamas guna when you are in deep relationship she bit the nature then you are satya guna then in that satya guna you get the rain water harvesting the solar and the wind energy and the happy ganesha festival to all who understand this festival put it into practice take a pledge ganesha bhakti ki sparsh